hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to learn about url rewriting in php using ht access file in order to teach you the url writing in php i created a small php program in php uh, which will list some blog posts when we click on a blog post we can see that there is some uh, parameters on the url also we can see the extension the php extension is there this is an old traditional method but we could rewrite the url to a different method and it will be better for search engine optimization too so uh, let's start so let's get into the program this is the php program that i used to list the blog post which is on the index.php these are the blog posts and i also created one php page blog.php which will retrieve the blog data like the following these are the two uh, php pages and i created one dot .ht access file which is required to rewrite the url which i will explain later now we need to visit the database section for that enter localhost then press enter and go to the php my admin so we can see our database click on it and uh, we can see blog post table click on it then uh, we can see the table structure serial number title block content and url we need the url and serial number for identifying the blog post now we need to go to the programming section again and uh, we could make some changes to the blog list url we can put a forward slash instead of the php extension and we can also remove the serial number and put a bother save the page and go to the blog list and reload the page and uh, we can see the changes there go to the blog page and we can see the url structure is changed all this happened because of this ht access file if we make any changes to this ht access file it will also cause the page now we can see the error because we made a change so we again make the correction and go to the page it will be okay now now we need to go to the programming section again and go to the ht access file and uh, we are going to make some changes here we are going to change the block uh, which is same on the url structure to a uh, post we are going to change the block to post and save the file and uh, go to the browser again and change the block to post see the ht access file is working we changed the block to post and these are the these are the uh, ht access code which is using to identify the parameters on the url one parameters is you how to search google image and it is the url url from database and serial it's the uh, same from the database when user access this url path it will goes to the ht access page in the root folder and look for the rewrite rule and this is the rewrite rule for this url structure and when user access this url path it will find the blog.php cosma url is equal to dollar one and serial number is equal to dollar two when user goes to this url structure these are the two parameters which will save by the rewrite rule using this ht access codes and the first parameter is how to search google image by the excel size and it will received by the dollar one and the one the second parameter which will goes to the dollar two now i am going to the blog.php page and uh, there we can see two uh, get methods one uh, for receiving the url and uh, one for receiving the serial number from the url parameters because we are using the get method 
while user uh, access this url stretcher it will pass the parameters to the this ht access codes and this ht access codes will pass the data i mean the uh, url parameters to dollar one and dollar two these are the two ht access codes these are the two ht access codes will pass the first the first ht access code will pass the value to dollar one that means this parameters this parameter and the second one the second one that means this ht access code will pass its that its parameter to dollar two that means this this number two to this uh, serial number so uh, when user access the url structure uh, this this data will be passed to uh, block.php and we will we will use those parameters to identify the block from the database uh, by using the serial number and url now i am going to the blog post to check the result here our blog posts are i'm reloading the page and going to the uh, blog post and there is some errors we could find that and fix it uh, go back and we can check yeah it's a problem uh, we we can see the post uh, we changed this block to post but uh, it didn't change it we didn't change it that was on the loop okay so we can go to the programming section again to the index page and change the block to post and save the file again and reload the blog post list and go to the blog post again and yeah it's working the bug is fixed it is because we changed the uh, block to post before right that's why the error happened so every time when we um do some changes in the ht access we also need to change those uh those changes in the loop now i'm going to remove the serial number from the url in the loop i'm just putting the url there and going to ht access and removing the serial number part i'm removing the serial number part now there's only one ht access code to receive the parameter that's only for url dollar one and going to the block.php and removing the serial number from here i'm removing the serial number from the query mysql query also removing the serial number from the bind and we can check the result now there is no result because uh, this url stretcher contain uh, one more variable so we can we can remove that from we already removed it so go to the block list again and reload the page and see there is no second variable there's no second parameters are there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, you got an idea about URL rewriting in PHP using HTAccess access file. If you like the video, please like it. Also, share the video with your friends. Also, subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.